All right, man, fight number five. Is there any difference in your preparation from fights one, two, three, and four, or is this just the same old, uh, same old for you? Hey, same old, same old. Still trying to figure it out. So, uh, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out the fight game. So, I mean, I don't really got time to specialize in opponents or anything like that. So, I mean, I'm still just working on the ones and twos. And, and how do you feel like you're coming along in that department? Do you feel like you are, uh, you know, on your schedule of trying to figure out the fight game? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm definitely on schedule from where I, where I wanted to be, if not a little bit ahead. Uh, maybe even a little bit behind. Who knows? But I mean, I'm here, fight number five, unscathed so far, and so I mean, uh, just just looking forward to making it five and up. And is that something like for you? Is it is it hard to try to set expectations just because I think people have an idea? Oh, you have the wrestling background. You come in MMA. Is it is it hard to not get ahead of yourself sometimes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I've made it a, a priority of mine to to not put a schedule on myself. I've seen this game. I've seen a lot of people in this game. I've seen how 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 it can take you either from one to 100 or or, or back from 100 to, to back to 50. So I mean, you can you can either flourish real fast, or I mean, it can take a lot of time to grow. And I, I don't know what that's going to be with me yet. So I'm just taking it day by day and making it happen. And I'm sure you put you know faith in your coaches and uh, the people that are making the decision and the Bellat in Bellator itself. But uh, it seems like you are taking a step up in competition for this this fight, at least from That's an outside perspective. Everybody keeps perspective. saying, keeps do, saying do, that. Do you feel that? Uh, everybody keeps on saying that. Yeah. Everyone keeps telling me that, so it got to be true, right? So uh, I mean, I I, I just got to do my thing and pose my will and uh, give them some act right. Does that excite you at all? The people are saying that that you like, you know, now now you know, and you're it's not just. Uh, it's not that you disbelieve in yourself, but other people are too to give you these new challenges. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, a step up is always good. You don't want to just be sitting around at the bottom forever. Uh, you got to climb them stairs, and I'm, I'm trying to get to the top. And Justin Sumter's a guy who's fought on Contender Series. He's fought for major regional promotions. Did you did you get to break him down at all? You got that likes to watch the tape, or do you kind of leave that up to your coaches? Uh, my coaches watch the tape. They tell me what I need to do. I try not to do it. I'm overanalyze. Uh, I know that he's experienced. I know that he, uh, he's been around the game for a while, and I know that I'm here to give him some act right. I'm here to make it happen. So, I mean, I'm here to put it on him. I came all the way from, a, from, from California, all the way out to the East Coast. My time zones are all messed up. I went through with the, cholera, uh, the coronavirus and every, all that. Got on planes through the airport all day yesterday. So, I mean, I'm out here to uh, get the dub. I can't, I can't leave empty handed, that's for sure. And you just mentioned how you kind of leave the watching the tape up to your coaches, but for fans that sit down on the couch or at their computer or whatever to watch this fight, what are they going to see from you? For me, they're going to see some. Uh, they're going to see some good, hopefully, some good fundamentals and some good old hard body karate wrestle game, man. So I mean, I'm, I'm here to make it. I'm here to pick them up, put them down, and uh, ground a pound.